Hey guys, so we are taking the EOS RP today for a hike to Bukit Dabo. Um, with me is the EOS RP and the 35mm lens. The reason why I chose this combo to take and go is because I wanted to find like the perfect combination available that is affordable for everyone. So let's go hike. Okay, so, um, so far the hike has been quite fun, very, very tiring. The RP has been quite a light camera, I barely even noticed that it's sitting over here. The reason why I asked Canon to loan this, because I felt that this combination, the Canon EOS RP with the 35mm 1.8 macro lens, the most bang for buck combination right now available for the R series. So I want to take it out and um, test it out and see for myself whether I could actually take this and go around and shoot. Everything here is either filmed with my Canon EOS M50, which I'm using now, or this Canon EOS RP. Um, I'm not sure they can tell the difference between the full frame look and the crop sensor look. Yeah, other than that, I think the EOS RP is somewhat like a big brother to the Canon M50. And if, if you guys have been following my channel, you know that I bought the M50 about last year. And yeah, it's been my go-to camera for most of my things. Actually, I take it for my real work stuff sometimes. Um, because I'm a hybrid shooter, I shoot both photos and videos and I need needed something that could, that could work for both photography and videography. And the M50, spec-wise turned out to be the best bang for buck and I'm wondering whether the RP is the same. Whew. I think we're about 30%, still 35% of the way. Uh, another reason why I think the RP would be great for beginners that is also weather sealed. The reason why I took it for the hike is because um, in case it rains, I can still be quite sure that it doesn't uh, spoil the camera after a little bit of rain drop. Ready? Yeah, let's go. Okay guys, so we are at the top of Tabo. We made it after, I think, two and a half hours. A bit, a bit longer. But anyways, um, as I was saying, I've been taking the US RP. Oh wait, it's here. <laughs> the US RP uh, for, the, for the entire journey. Um, I've been shooting a few photos here and there, so, and also a few, few videos. For the videos, I'm shooting at 50 frames per second so that I can slow-mo it if I want to. So this camera, who do I think it's for? I think it's for people who are trying to upgrade from their, from their APS-C body, or if you can afford it, jump straight into the Canon R series. The, the R series is going to be the future of Canon, so it's great to have something uh, something more affordable first to see where the series goes, so that uh, you can try the awesome lenses that comes with it. Hey guys, so we're at the end of Tabor. We just finished the entire trail. Um, yeah, so I'm now I'm using the Canon EOS RP to film me. Do you see any difference between this and the, and the M M50? Uh, yeah, so I like this lens, and I think it's selling for about two thousand ringgit, and the body is selling for about five nine 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 RRP. So yeah, it's it together. It should not cost you more than eight thousand ringgit, and that's a pretty good deal for a full frame mirrorless body with a potential of growing into a very good lens lineup. So that has been my little, I guess, real world review of the Canon US RP. And yeah, let me know what else you want to know about this camera. I have it. I don't know how long I have it, or maybe I can borrow it again. Oh uh, yeah, let me know. So, tada, the end. Uh.